Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing an update on my Project Pan. It's been over a month since I did my last update. I think it's been more like a month and a half. But I've been really busy the last two weeks and I haven't had an opportunity to film, so I'm finally getting around to it now. So, there are some products that I've already finished, there are some that I'm very close to finishing, and there are a few that I'm nowhere near finishing. So I'm going to kind of go through the ones that I finished already that I shared with you last time, and very briefly go over those, and then get into the ones that I'm still working on. Alright, so the first things are the ones that I've already finished. So I have finished my Color Reach Balms in Heavenly Berry and Rose Elixir. So both of these were pretty nice lip products that I finished up to the edge. So this one was a lighter pink color, and this one was what it sounds like a more berry color. Both of those have been gone since my last update, maybe even the one before that, I can't remember for sure. I finished up a foundation. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. This one I liked for a while, but then I realized when I used it consistently, it was really breaking my skin out. So I probably won't repurchase that one anytime in the near future. Then I finished up a YBF Your Best Friend Automatic Eyebrow Pencil. This one I think I finished up last month maybe. Um, but this one is just a really great eyebrow pencil. It's got a spoolie on one side and the roll up pin on the other. I finished up the Urban Decay Eyeliners and this is the one in Uzi and Empire so it's a purple and a gray. I believe I finished those up last month. I can't sharpen them anymore. And then this month, I did finish only just one product, and there's a couple that are close. The product that I did finish was the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. And this one, it was a really pretty blush. It was a very nice natural color, and I liked the consistency when I started it. But by the time that I got to the bottom of the jar, it was just getting really piecey, and it didn't go on the skin very evenly anymore, and it was kind of a pain. It made a mess. So I think this was actually probably getting to the point where it was about time for it to be expired anyway, so it was definitely time for it to go. But I'm glad I'm done with it because I was just getting kind of sick of it. But I do think I will continue the plan of using cream shadows under powder shadows because I really like the look that it gives. To go along with that, because I finished that one, I was finally able to move on to my Tarte True Love Natural Cheek Stain. This is a really pretty, just like pinky colored stain. And I've actually used quite a lot of this, so rolled up all the way. This right here is the plastic stopper. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Um, but there's probably a good half an inch of that that's plastic stopper. I've made a pretty good dent in this and I don't think it'll last too terribly long. I use it pretty much every day underneath my powder blushes. So this will probably last until my next update and I don't think it'll last much longer than that. But it's gone pretty fast, but it is like the little mini size. It's not like the full size or anything. My other couple of face products that I still have left, I still have my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. This one, I swear every time I do an update video, I'm like, yeah, it'll be gone soon, and then it just never ends. I've had this for forever. It has to be getting close to done, but there's so many times that I think it's done, and then I tap it on my hand and roll it around a little bit and just make sure it's flipped upside down, and more product is there again magically. It does a fine job, but I'm looking forward to looking at other concealers and stuff. And I've just had this for so long that it needs to get used up soon, so hopefully this will be done by my next update. Hopefully. I also have my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in Light Golden. This is a great concealer, but it is slightly too dark for me, so I do need to finish it up pretty soon before the summer is over completely and I've lost all color that I had built up. But I'm very, very close. I have to squeeze it pretty much down to here for it to come out. Although a little product goes a long way with this, I do think that I will be done with this by my next update next month. My last cheek product that I have is my Benefit High Beam, which if you look at it, you can see through it a lot better than you used to be able to, so that's something. Um, I saw Megan from Meg's Makeup 8. She had been using a little mini sample like this too, and last update I'd mentioned that I'd have it, I was having a really hard time getting any product out of it, and I was at least able to get the product out of the bottom, but I'm still getting makeup product stuck like up here, but I have used a lot more of it. So my key to using that is just taking a Q-tip in there and bending it in the right direction and getting the product because she suggested that. I never would have thought of that, but it was a really smart idea. So I've gotten a lot more product out of it, and when I do finally finish using it, I will feel much better in knowing that I got as much product as possible out of it. I do really like this highlighter, but I have other ones that I'm going to get to, so I probably am not going to repurchase this one anytime soon once I finish it because I have like the What's Up highlighter and 
Girl Meets Pearl and some other ones. So I definitely don't need another one of these, but I do like it as a highlighter. It's very pretty when I can get it out of the packaging. Then I have two lip products that I have that I replaced my other two lip products with the last time I did an update. I have the Revlon Lip Butter in Berry Smoothie. And something with this packaging, this thing is like breaking off all the time, so it's sometimes a pain to get this off. But I feel like I have made really, really good progress on this. So this is all that I have left for product from the this one. And I would probably be done with it if I had been using it as consistently as I should have. I took a break from it, like I'd stuck it in my purse so I could reapply it, and then it just stayed in my purse and I wasn't reapplying it, and I was using some other lip products for a while. So I would probably be done with this if that weren't the case, but I should be done with this by my next update, I hope. The other one that I had added was the Revlon Color Burst in Peach Parfait. This one I have not made very much progress in. So this is where it's at. It's pretty much unused. I've used it maybe three or four times since my last update. I just do not like this one. I'm determined to use it up, but it's going to be a struggle because I am not a fan of this that much. I just don't like the glitter that it leaves all over my lips. I like the color, but it leaves a glitter behind after the color fades away on my lips and it looks crazy. So I'm like, I can't wear it to school or anything like that because I know my lip products are going to fade off fairly quickly. So that's kind of a pain in the butt, but I am determined to use it. I will do it. Then my last makeup product that I have in this project pan is the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Zero. And I have made quite a bit of progress in this one. This one's looking pretty small. I feel like I have to sharpen this all the time, which is a major pain. But I don't know. I really like the color. It just goes really fast. And I feel like I can only use it on my upper lash line because if I use it anywhere else, I feel like it smudges really badly. Um, but I have been using it pretty much every day, so I've made major progress with that. The other thing that I feel pretty proud of the progress that I have made is my Clinique Happy Perfume. So I mentioned last time that I had this perfume for a long time. This is probably going on four years that I've had it now. And when I bought it, I really, really loved the smell, but then I stopped liking the smell. And so when I started using it, when I mentioned it in my Project Pan, I was up here. And then I marked today where I am now, and I am down to here, so I've used about that much product in a month and a half. So this one will probably be done in about two months, I would say. I've started liking the smell again a little bit more, but it's still just not my favorite smell. I don't, I used to absolutely love it and I just, I don't know what happened, but I don't like it as much as I used to. But I do feel like I'm making good progress and I'm glad that I'm going to be able to use it up um, rather than letting it go to waste because I know perfumes can change over time, their smells can change and whatever. So. I need to use this up so that it's not a waste of money because Clinique perfume isn't cheap by any means. I mean, it's not the most expensive, but it's not cheap. So that is it for my Project Pan update. I'm not adding any more products in at this point. I think after I get done with this, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Project Pan. So hopefully in the next month, two months, I will be done with this Project Pan and done with all these products. And I'm looking forward to being done with that because I feel so obligated to use these products and I just want to use some other things sometimes but I know that I need to use these up. I will probably take a little bit of a break and then do another project pan in a couple of months after I finish. So if this takes me two more months, I might take a break until the new year and then start in the new year on a new project pan. But I'm getting really close on a lot of these things, so I feel good about using them up and almost being done with a lot of these things. So hopefully two months, that's my goal to be done. We'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I will update you guys again in another month or so. And if you have any project pans that you've been doing or if you have any updates, please leave those in the comments below. I would love to see those. I really enjoy connecting with other project panners because it's great to see what people are using up and how they're doing that. And it's just great motivation. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.